it's Boki here with Gigi's Fabric Shop and Home of Juki Junkies, and I am with the TL18 today and Maui Dog. <laughs> Maui's hanging out with me. We are going to talk about um, the needle, how to properly insert your needle, little tricks on the needle threader, and just kind of to cover some of those frequently asked questions that I have in this region of the machine. So let's hop into it. Oh, you're such a good boy. He's the mascot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I want to talk about this region of the machine. So the needle, the needle system, how to put in the needle, needle threader, all that fun stuff. Because I get a lot of uh, questions about this area, okay? So the needle here, as you're looking at it front on, you don't see the, uh, the eye of the needle. Where is the eye of the needle? So it's actually on the left and the right, not front and back like most needles that you see. So the, the eye of the needle is actually left and right. So how does that correspond to how you change out the needle on this machine? So up here you have your little set screw. You just unscrew that, okay? And then it comes right out. The, the needle that comes on this machine, ooh, there we go. The needle that comes on this machine is a 9014 organ needle. The size needles, the type of needles that you need to be using on here, you can use the organ needles. You can also use um, just regular Schmetz chrome needles. They just have to be the HA1 or the HLX5 type. Um, but those are just the regular home sewing needles that you use on your sergers, that you use on your computerized machines from Juki. Um, so nothing fancy schmancy here. You can use organ or Schmetz like we carry on our website. So when you're changing out your needle, okay the flat side of the head you see how there's this flat side right here this flat side on the top of the needle has to go to the right so when you are shimmying this back in here um, you really have to force it in there um, if you're putting it in incorrectly so I've seen it happen you can do it you can force it but the way this machine works is you have to put the eye of I mean I'm sorry the flat side of the needle to the right and put it up all the way as far as you possibly can because if it's too low uh, it will cause stitch issues and it will not perform the way it should be okay so make sure that flat side goes to the right so a 9014 needle is a great universal needle it's that needle to always have in stock it's going to be able to do all your little projects for you for the most part um, it's recommended you use like a 7511 for just piecing your quilts together working with cottons or any kind of lightweight linen or woven fabrics like that. Um, so since we're talking about needles, let's talk about the needle threader. So the most frequently fussed about thing on this machine is the needle threader. And that's just the reality of it. And that's just us being truthful. That's what we like to do around here is just be honest with you. And needle threaders are always pesky. They always have to be spot on. But here's a couple trips, tricks that I like to recommend as far as making right, your life. So number one rule for me before I even start threading the machine is going to be my needle down, needle up. And what that does is it ensures that the needle's in the highest possible position. Well, not in the highest possible position, but in the set position for this threader to successfully go through the eye of the needle. A couple things to keep in mind when you are th using the needle threader. If you're using a small needle, like a 7511, that hole, that eye is significantly small. Okay, so you might struggle getting th the Glide 40 to go through with the needle threader because that eye is so much smaller. Depending if you're using a top stitch needle, you might be more successful if you're using a quilting needle you might be more successful but the eye of the needle plays in coordinates with the threader so a making sure that the needle is up and in the right position and then b making sure that you're not working with too heavy of thread for the needle that you're using because two layers of this this gets kind of folded through and that's how it goes through the eye of the needle along with the pin that is on the needle threader so you have to make sure you're using the right size needle so a rule of thumb for me would be 80 12 and up to use your needle threader successfully so you don't bend it because if you try forcing it it does not take very much for you to break your needle threader and have to replace it so uh, we do have the replacement part we will link that in the description below for you guys to get this little replacement it's very easy to replace this this literally just snaps off i would highly encourage you to take off your needle completely this guy just snaps right off and if you'll come from this angle david you see this little pin right here that's exactly here i'll show you from this angle this little pin right here that's exactly how this plastic piece snaps on it's a very easy adjustment very easy replacement nothing much to it so. you want to just show them how to do it real quick sure so i'll go ahead and take the needle out because uh, if you try to do it with a needle in, it's a little tricky. So all you have to do is just wiggle this part off like so. 
and don't feel afraid to put some force it's okay so that's all that's to it okay there's a very tiny little pin in here let me see if i can get you to see it so you see the pin oh, my fingers in the way let's see if we can do it oh he's so little oh, you see yeah. that tiny pin it is so extremely small. Right in the middle. So that pin does not take much for you to whip it out of place and for it to bend out of place. Sometimes you can wiggle it back, but most of the time, if you've been forcing it too much, you're going to have to replace it. So, and if you're watching this video going, why is mine not working? You probably already broke it. Yeah, you so probably you should just already replace broke it. it. Yeah, it's like so. $6. It's real, real cheap and really easy to replace. Yeah. So now putting the new one back on, you just have to line those pegs with the two little gro grooves that are right here. Okay, they're on both sides. So those little pegs are going to be aligned with the grooves that are on the um, replacement and then you're just gonna push it up and it's gonna snap right in just like so and that's that's it remember to do it without the needle because that's gonna ensure that you don't bend it in the process of changing it so now I'm gonna insert my needle back make sure that the flat side is going to the right putting it in tightening it with my hand and then going in with the screw just to to finalize that nice um, that needle in so it holds it in place it doesn't slide out so now we're just going to talk about how to get it to go through the eye of the needle um so i have my machine threaded as so i'm going to do my little needle down needle up going to pop it into this first thread guide pop it into the second thread guide these two are very important make sure you do not miss those steps because uh, your stitches will look different. I promise you they will. Um, I'm going to hold the thread with my left hand and I'm going to put down the needle threader and push it through the eye. That little pin is going through the eye of the needle. Okay, so it's going to go through. I'm going to bring the thread from the back to the front. All right, and then it's going to sit right here in this little white cutout. All right, then I'm going to slowly start lifting my right hand and releasing the pressure that the thread's in on my left at simultaneously so it's able to pull through and make the loop if you learn how to do that and not jerk this needle threader up after you've done it you will thread the needle every time of course as we talked about making sure that you have the right needle size on there and the right thread and the right thread so you're not doing something too thick for the pin to be able to push through uh you should be successful every single time and if it's not working and you you followed what i've been talking about so far you probably need to replace it and we will link that in the description and also i'm not sure if we mentioned this already but putting the needle down and up ensures that the needle is in the exact same position every, every time. time so that way you're not damaging this i can't remember if we already said and that, it's not the highest position because notice when i move my my hand wheel it brings it up higher. even higher the, the point is not the highest position the point is the right position okay so needle down needle up puts it in that secure spot every single time so i can just easily thread it with no problem super All right? easy super, super, super easy super. peasy right, you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys found this helpful um always give us some more feedback and and uh ideas for what else you want to see from us because we're always open to shooting more videos that are helpful to you at the end of the day all right so thank you so much please subscribe to our channel check us out on youtube i mean on on our facebook uh juki junkies and Gigi's fabric shop and our app of course so uh you can visit us at juki junkies.com that's our phone number please Please do not hesitate to call us on any questions that you may have on finding your dream machine. Um, there's also our brick and mortar number. And we do have an app. It's Gigi's Fabric Shop. Make sure you guys check that out because that's where we put all our brand new fabrics. So just so you guys know too, we are also a Janome and Handy Quilter dealer as well. So shoot us an email at sewingmachines with an S411 at gmail.com for any more detailed questions on finding yourself a dream machine. Thank you so much. Have a great day.